Hi everybody, this is a tutorial explaining how to stack multiple images into one file for posting. This is best used when you have uh, multiple drawings or designs to submit for one assignment. And so what you want to do is put all of them into, rather than posting each of them individually, you want to put all of them into one file, one image file, one JPEG file, so that uh, someone can just open one file and view all of your designs or drawings for that assignment and respond to all of them in that way. It keeps things organized, it helps people to be able to identify uh, your drawings and respond to them. So this is, uh, this is the method of doing it. There are two ways to do this in Photoshop. The first one is uh, using an automated method called contact sheets. The second one I will show you also. Uh, it's just involves making a new canvas and dropping and dragging the images into that canvas. So uh, what we're going to do is stack all of these images vertically. So we're going to end up with them stacked into uh, one file, vertically oriented, oriented, so that we can scroll through up and down to view all three of the designs. I have three designs open here that I want to put in one file and I have pre-prepared them by giving them a unique file name, saving them as JPEG, and also setting the image size and resolution to the standards for web presentation. So that involves setting the resolution to 72 pixels per inch and the image size to no bigger than, well, approximately 600 by 800 pixels. Instructions on how to do all that are in the formatting guidelines video so take a look at that video tutorial for help on how how to save an image as a JPEG um, how to change the resolution and the pixel dimensions to uh, 72 pixels per inch 600 by 800 those are pretty much standard um, standard web presentation sizes uh, it makes sure that everyone can see it on most monitors and um, gives you a high enough resolution that you won't have any loss of detail, but also it keeps the image size file small enough so that it loads quickly. Uh, so what we're going to do now is take all three and put them into one file. So the way to do this automatically, the first thing you need to do, depending, no matter whether you use the automatic, automated method or the manual method, you first need to make sure that you have all of your images, like I said, saved as a JPEG, saved at the correct uh, resolution and pixel dimensions and then thirdly you need to open all three of the images in Photoshop so I have my three designs opened in Photoshop okay and then I choose file automate contact sheet 2 this little dialog box opens up called contact sheet 2 gives me lots of options so it asks me where, what source images do I want to use for this contact sheet. Well, we want to use the current open documents, which is the documents that I have currently opened in Photoshop. Then uh, it asks you details about the overall contact sheet document. Uh, we've been working in pixels, so we'll stick with pixels. And you want to set the width to be about the same width as your um, as each of your individual images, which if they're about 600 by 800, then most likely they'll be somewhere between 600 by 800 pixels wide. I'm going to leave it at 600 pixels um, width for in my case, because I think my images are smaller than that. If your image is 800 pixels wide, if your images are 800 pixels wide, you want to set the width to 800. And then, because we're going to stack all of them vertically, one on top of the other, the height of our overall document is going to be the height of each of the documents all added together. So let's say um, I have three images that I want to stack vertically, and that each of them is 100 pixels tall. Well, that means I'm going to need 300 pixels total to fit all of them onto the canvas. So, you know, you can add a little bit more extra if you, th if you aren't sure. Um, so maybe you'd pick 400. Um, the height just depends. Um, you can make it really long if you want and then crop away the extra. It's totally up to you. I know that my images are about 500 pixels high, a little less than that. So I'm going to guesstimate and say that I need 1500 pixels in height. Set the resolution to 72 
pixels per inch, the mode to RGB color mode. Make sure flatten layers is checked. For thumbnails, you want to place the first one down. So this tells you whether you're going to orient it vertically or horizontally. We we'll want to orient it vertically, so place down first. Um, you can choose to use auto spacing or not. I'll sh I'll leave it on, and then um, decide how many columns and rows we want. Well, we're going to stack three images vertically, so we want one column with three rows. <coughs> And then the file name as a caption is a good thing to leave turned on because it helps explain what each of your images is and gives it gives them an automatic automatic label. Um, that's up to you whether you want to turn that off or not. And then just click OK and let it process. It takes a few seconds. And what we'll end up with is one image, one file with all three of our images in in there. And so if I zoom in we can see them really large and scroll up and down to view each of them which is the desired result. You'll also see there's there's the file name that was saved underneath. And if I zoom out, control or command minus zooms out, then we can see there they are placed. Now if you're not quite happy with the way they look, you can use the crop tool to add a little bit of canvas to the sides if you think it needs a little bit. Um, you can also, if you, if, you, if you happen to have too much canvas, you can crop away some of it from the bottom, um, just like this, and then hit enter or return, and there you go. And the last thing, the last step is just to save this for web and devices. Choose File, Save for Web and Devices. You can leave the settings on, um, on the default settings, which is save as a JPEG, um, and then click save and give it a file name and save it at a location where you know you can find it. So that's the automated method. The manual method is fairly simple and straightforward. You just choose file, new, and open a new uh, document. Give it a file name. Uh, you want again set the width of the total canvas to be the width of your images. Um, and then the height is going to be the added height of all three or however many images you have. Set the resolution to 72 pixels per inch. Make sure you're working in RGB color mode. The background contents to white. And then click OK and you'll get a new blank white document opening up. And then what you need to do is grab the move tool, which is V. And all you need to do is click and drag to place your images. So select your image, click it, and drag it into this new file. And it will place all of them into one file. Um, and then you can, again, arrange them how you want. Use the Crop tool to crop away excess canvas. Choose File, Save for Web and Devices. Um, and there you go. So that's it. Those are the two methods. Now one thing about this method that you sh I should note is that, um, let's say I've arranged this bottom design where I want it, but I want to put the bird design in the middle. Well, how do I select the bird design? Right now I can't select the bird design. Well, what you need to do is open up the layers palette, which is over, docked over on the bottom right. You can also find it by going to window layers. It opens up the layers palette. And you notice that uh, Photoshop automatically puts each of these images into a separate layer. Well, you have to select the layer that contains the image you want to move. So I want to move the birds, so I select layer 1, which has the birds, and now I can move it. And then I need to move this image, so I select layer 2, so that I can move that image. Um, and you can also move things uh, with the arrow tool, one pixel at a time, to uh, adjust the placement more precisely.